So I just look at this. Well, good morning. Happy Monday. It's been a little bit since I vlogged because honestly, I couldn't figure out what to vlog about. I wanted to vlog about my neighborhood, but then that could turn into weird, make weird pants. Um, <laughs> I wanted to vlog about vlog, not vlog. I wanted to vlog about so much stuff, but I couldn't figure out what to vlog about. But then this morning I got up and I just was like, you know what you're gonna do? You're just gonna turn the camera on and then you're gonna see what happens. And you're gonna let whatever happens, happens on the camera today because I miss bringing you guys into this part of my life. And I think that somebody pointed it out when I was asking for the feeling. I think the person who said it was unsettled, that was the best description of how I was feeling was unsettled. And I didn't realize that feeling unsettled, like, look at this it's beautiful like look at does she just love all these crates like who's i don't want to get too close i don't know what the point is made of but i just love all these greens <laughs> not greens but all this greenery i just love it it's like 5 30 in the morning i am off to the part-time job and i'm excited to be chatting back with you guys just excited so i want to do a little bit of an output post uh because i was sharing with you guys in some of the budget it is time for a summer wardrobe update <laughs> um so let's take a look at what we're wearing today we have on a halter we have on a pair of pants and then we have on a wonder woman belt and then we have on work shoes now i'm not wearing this because i want to look like a 90s extra in one of the upcoming tlc videos i'm wearing this because i don't have any shorts well no i need pants to work in but i could have probably walked to work in something different and it's hot it's 80 degrees and it's like 5 25 in the morning and I don't have any like just you know summer dresses that you can just throw on i don't have any just like little jumpers that you can just throw on so i look like an extra in a 90s video well i'm grateful for my flat stomach that's not my intention now if 90s was my style that would work but the only thing that i had that wouldn't be deliriously warm and also with semi cover my body because I'm walking to work and I'm walking back so it's five in the morning and it's eight so you only imagine what the, the temperature is gonna be <laughs> when I'm walking back home it's gonna be so hot and so I'm excited about getting some summer clothes because I'm excited about being able to uh, be fully dressed and look like I'm in the current decade as well I think it'll be fun so I think I just really want to come on and talk to you guys though too <laughs> I miss vlogging so much. It's so much fun. It's fun. It's so much fun. Such an excitement. Such an exciting time. I have worked an eight hour shift. I'm a part time job. I'm tired. I'm walking home and I am finishing this awesome, amazing book. I literally have this many pages left and it's so good. I don't like. I don't actually want to finish it because it's just that good. I'm trying to see. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. It looks very dark from the viewfinder. So sorry about that. Do I have to turn around? Nope, still very dark from the viewfinder. But work was awesome. Um, went by very fast. It is about 2.40, something like that. So I will be home and then once I'll finish this on my way home and then I'll rest for about an hour or so and then I'll get to some purpose work and you guys get to join me. Yay! Walmart I spent $37 all right so Walmart's receipt is $37 and 13 cents and a lot of that has to do with buying prepackaged foods for how much was spent there but again I'm intentionally doing that because I want to um, support myself in getting back to my regular budget so I got two 
beef broth, two chicken broth, another coconut soup base, and another almond milk soup base. And I did that because I wanted something a little lighter in texture than the beans and rice that I've been eating because it's getting hot and I just want something a little lighter because it's so hot outside. I have one thing of um, almond milk, a jar of peanut butter, my sweet peppers for my salads and snacks, ground uh, cinnamon, ground cumin. I bought angel hair pasta because I want to try to make a homemade Roman noodle uh, sort of a thing and so I was just looking for a very thin pasta. I got cauliflower, carrots, and celery to make myself a cauliflower turmeric um, soup here tonight. So this is all that I got from Walmart which I'm pretty excited about it. Some of these things will be able to last me until the coming months so I will show you guys what I get from the next store. Hello there. I'm very excited to be chatting with you guys today because over the weekend I was on Craigslist and dun 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 dun. I'm super excited. I'm just getting off work for my part time job and literally I have purchased this over the weekend and I have been waiting all weekend to get back to my office nook so that I could put it together and I'm super excited that it is a desktop and not a laptop because if you guys watch my vision board um, I had a lot of intentions on my vision board but one of my intentions um, was for my spiritual area of life was to stay surrendered but my overall theme for the year was also feminine and certain and one of the things that I found in doing the type of work that I do which is so incredible and so awesome is that like I'm a worker like I love the work that I do like if somebody gives me the choice between doing a little bit more work and like relaxing I'm gonna do more work because that I, I love it it just it it feels amazing so if you're anything like me and you love 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 the work that you do um this may be something that's helpful for you but one of the things that I decided to do um, especially when I selected this apartment and I knew I was going to have an office nook is I decided to be diligent about separating my work and resting places and obviously my resting place in the great room I'll have my bedroom my living room and my dining and those are all like resting leisurely activities and so over here in the nook I'll actually it'll be so work focused that like when I come to this space it's like all work and when I'm not in this space it doesn't have to be work um, because when I was thinking about replacing my computer um, the thought didn't cross my mind to get a laptop I was like no I mean I'll have another laptop sometime period of my life but right now as I'm um, intentionally reopening not reopening as I'm intentionally designing a company that fits my lifestyle that I actually want to have moving forward um, I'm super excited that like it's going to be built around me carving out space that says this is what you want to do in this space and this is what you want to do in those other spaces so go ahead and do it so that was very exciting um i started looking hold on hold on hold on hello uh -huh. hello can you hear me yeah loving human being and so she kept telling me that um 
in the summertime, there are going to be a lot of students, a lot of people wanting to get rid of their computers because they're not in school. So the closer you are to midsummer and you're searching, the better you're going to be able to find somebody who's willing to give you a steal. And so I kept looking, kept looking, and we found a couple of things that were very nice. And when I did the budget live, I told you guys that my budget for um, the computer was $400 because most of the computers that I was looking at were falling somewhere between 200 to 400 dollars like in order to get like a nice one with the functionality that I needed because I wasn't necessarily I like Apple products because you don't have to get it brand new in order for it to be amazing um but I didn't want to get something that was like you know quality and well taken care of so fast forward to this past weekend and I was just going through the budget I have been I, and as you all know I've been working through some of the emotions that I experienced um um, in the month of May um, in terms of shame guilt resentment all of those things I was like working through some of those things and as I as I got through I believe resentment and guilt um, when I went back online to sort of do the search I kid you not like I feel like I was searching from a different place like I wasn't searching from a like desperate this is what I just I don't know just something lifted off of me and I just it wasn't such a difficult stressful thing anymore it was a very light like Remember, Stacy, like you, you can afford to get a computer and like, this is not a stressful thing that you have money to be able to do this. And because that was the way that it was sort of feeling before it was like, ah, oh, if I didn't have to replace this computer, I could have done this with the money. And typically that's not the way that I like my perspective on things. Typically my perspective on things is much more like towards the side of like, what an awesome privilege it is that you can afford to get a computer you know so I felt myself shifting back into that space as I did the emotional work on those feelings and it's literally been um it's literally been like amazing to see how easy it is for me to manifest and find the things that I'm looking for case in point this computer that was my long rant to say that this was exactly what I was looking for and it was only $150 favorite sound in all the land <laughs> are you guys so excited I'm so freaking excited not only did I find an amazing device that fit you understand that this whole entire computer cost me what I spent on a keyboard and repairs well a little a little bit over maybe 10 or 15 dollars over on a keyboard and repairs two or three months ago I got a whole entire another device so now my work is going to be um getting this set up and getting my apple id connected which means i'm gonna have to use my ipad to figure out how to reset this but yeah i'm gonna be here for a while because i'm very happy <laughs> that i have a whole entire computing system for my office nook Life is good, man. Everything is possible.